So we have a movie with Jackie Chan and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And they're about 70 years old. What can go wrong? Hey, what is up guys? It's me, Anthony, here to give you guys another movie review. This time it is for the movie Iron Mask. Like I said at the beginning of this video, we have Jackie Chan and Arnold Schwarzenegger. They build this movie as like, this is the first time they have ever met on the big screen and they're gonna have a fight. But what can you really expect? I mean, these both of these guys are really old i mean jackie chan not so much he's like in his mid 50s right and then but you got arnold schwarzenegger he's 70 years old he's not getting any younger and i didn't really have any high expectations with their meeting but i will say the interactions that we do get with them are not as bad as i thought it was going to be iron mass tells the story of these dark wizards who are pretty much taken over all of China and the white wizards are being imprisoned and one of those white wizards are Jackie Chan and his daughter. They have been separated and now they have to find each other so they can free the dragon and save all of China. Now I, when I was watching this movie I was kind of confused because it's in English but it's a movie from China and Russia. It's a collaboration movie between the two countries and you watching this movie you can totally tell that there's scenes that it's obviously dubbed, but it's dubbed with the actors' own voices, but them speaking English. It's really weird. I watched this on Amazon Prime, so I was kind of confused. I was like, oh, maybe I can watch it in its native language. They didn't give me the option to do it. It was only in English. So I was like, why didn't they just give you an option? I don't know if other platforms allowed you to do that, but it would have been a more pleasant experience if I was able to watch it in the movie's native tongue, if you will. But the main thing that you want to see in this movie is the promise of Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jackie Chan having a fight. And they do have a fight in here. This is not a spoiler or anything. They're gonna have a fight in here. It's not what you would think. As I said, these people are both old, but I think that uh, they did a pretty good job. I, Jackie Chan pretty much uh, you know, pulls most of the weight in here. Arnold Schwarzenegger is just there. He's doing some one-liners and stuff. I thought it was fine for what it is, but I will say that the thing that really irks me about this movie is that it builds it up as this is a Jackie Chan and Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, the first time they ever meet. They're barely in this film. They're in the beginning of the film and the end. And this movie's two hours. So I kind of felt gypped in that sense because I just wanted to see Jackie Chan and Arnold Schwarzenegger team up. Also, the movie's pace is weirdly, insanely almost unbelievably fast. They won't explain things. They'll just say this thing's happened and they'll cut to the next scene and expect you to follow what's going on. It's like I said, it's really fast. It's really quick. I think it kind of benefited the movie a little bit in that sense, but also it was a little bit hard to understand what was going on, but they don't really tell the story that well, which is to be expected in a martial arts kind of film. I don't come here for a cohesive and engaging and compelling story. Came here to see some fights, right? Choreography between the Chinese is really, really well done. That stuff's great. They also did a really good job of introducing these dark wizards, right? They look scared. I'm not really gonna talk about the acting in this film. I think if I'm just gonna give my overall impressions, it's okay, but I didn't really get into their acting. I didn't really get any sense of if they were good or bad because the dubbing took me out of the movie so much. Also, my wife brought up a good point. She said, why couldn't Mulan be this exciting or just entertaining? Mulan had clearly a bigger budget than this, bigger audience, more appeal. It has Disney behind it. And this one, this movie, with a seven-year-old Arnold Schwarzenegger and an aging Jackie Chan was more entertaining, more exciting than the Mulan live action. But overall, guys, I think that uh, the Iron Mass is, it's, it's all right. I mean, it's like a B movie. It's a classic Chinese martial arts film mixed with some weirdness, throwing some actors that we do know in here for some reason. If you can get past the dubbed and if some way find the, the original language i guess then i would say check it out but what do you guys think of the iron mask in the comments down below let me know if you've seen the iron mask also do you like jackie chan movies i think he's been killing it lately last couple of years there was all there was this movie called the foreigner he did a couple of years back i thought it was one of his better movies um i there's a whole bunch of other jackie chan movies i want to check out but let me know are you a fan of jackie chan do you think Arnold schwarzenegger needs to stop making movies because he's just can't do it anymore <laughs> let me know in the comments down below also guys check out my twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel and as always guys keep watching movies